Hi again, this is Mike from How to Fix. In this video, we will talk about how we can fix this kind of error. So these errors can be frustrating and often stop your system from updating Windows correctly. I'll be giving you step-by-step -step guide on how we can fix this kind of problem. So let's start by running the Windows Update Troubleshooter. Uh, just click on start, right click, then go to settings, um, click on system, scroll down, and look for the troubleshoot. Click on troubleshoot, then select on other troubleshooters, then select on the Windows update. Run this update and just let the Windows detect and fix the simple issues automatically. The next step will be we need to clear the update cache by deleting the software distribution folder. So to do that, just click, click on the folder. So we need to go to the uh, C drive, this PC, C drive, Windows. Scroll down and look for the software distribution, this one. Open the folder, then delete all the files from here, in here. After deleting the files, uh, the next step will be we need to um, stop or disable the, the Windows Update Services. So right click on Start, then Run, then just type in services.msc, then OK. Then look for the Windows Update and the Background Intelligent. So Background Intelligent, this one is running, right click, then it stop it, disable it. So the next one on your keyboard, just press W and look for the Windows Update. Right click and you need to stop it. Okay. If you don't have an option to stop it, uh, you can just disable it. Properties. Then you will have an option to disable it. Okay. After checking the services, the next one will be uh, you need to run this command the DISM and also the SFC scan now so to do that just click on start type CMD make sure to run it as administrator yes then type SFC scan this will check all of the um, the system files and it will try to fix it just wait for it to finish. Once it is finished, you will be getting a message that it is completed. And the next um, command, that will be DISM. Oh, this one. Don't worry because I'll be providing all of the commands and steps on the uh, description. So you will be getting a message that it is successfully completed. So just close it. Then check if that will fix the problem. In any case, you are still getting the same problem after running the DISM. The next step will be try to run these commands. So this command will let you reset the entire Windows Update components manually. So this will be the commands. Um, I'll be providing the link on the description. So what you can do, um, just click on start, then type again CMD run as administrator then yes then make sure to run these commands one by one like for example net stop just copy and paste then enter it okay run all of these commands then after running all of these commands restart your computer then hopefully that will fix the problem so I hope you find this video helpful and if you do have any further questions, just comment down below. And please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to this channel. And thanks again for watching.